everyone. My name is Nathan Cooper, and welcome back to SIS Film Breakdowns. It's draft week, so what better way to celebrate than give you another Film Breakdowns episode to use in your draft preparations? This episode focuses on Tulsa linebacker Zabin Collins. A fourth-year junior, Collins played in 32 games for the Golden Hurricane, making starts in each of the last 30. A big athletic linebacker, Collins measured in at just under 6'5", 259 pounds at his pro day. He also put up incredible numbers, such as a 4'6'7 unofficial 40, a 35-inch vertical jump, and a 10-foot 2-inch broad jump. Let's take a look at some plays now from the Oklahoma State, UCF, SMU, and Tulane games to see how those numbers translate to the field. Let's start with the Oklahoma State game and point out Collins' ability in coverage. He's lined up here about four yards off the ball and over the left guard. Oklahoma State is going to run a screen to the left and Collins reads it and reacts quickly and bursts to meet the running back. He's able to avoid the block from the slot receiver and bring Hubbard down for a huge loss here on the play. Now for the Tulane game. Collins is lined up as the will to the right of the offensive formation. At the snap, he reads the play action and then gets depth in his zone drop. Both receivers from the left side are running crossers here. Collins does a good job getting depth and not allowing the deep drag to go over the top of him. He then sees the underneath drag coming, sticks his foot in the ground, and comes up to meet the receiver and make the tackle for a short game. Let's watch the tight copy for this next play. It's overtime with Tulane inside the five yard line. At the snap, Collins takes his read steps into the hole to take the running back, but then reads the eyes of the quarterback and falls off. Collins is able to make an athletic play here by anticipating the throwing lane and picking off the pass. But not only does he pick off the pass and turn the ball over, but he also returns it all the way for a touchdown to end the game and secure a big victory for Tulsa. It's clear Collins is a difference maker in coverage with a ridiculous stat line of only allowing three completions on seven primary targets with four interceptions and six pass breakups in 2020. His 2.4 pass coverage total points per game ranked him second among all Will linebackers in this year's rookie handbook. Now let's take a look at Collins as a pass rusher. He's lined up on the edge to the offense's right. Now at the snap, the running back attempts to cut him, but Collins does a good job here using his hands and shedding him aside. Once he gets his feet back under him, he's able to burst and accelerate to the quarterback to register the sack. Collins is now on the left side of the offensive formation here against SMU. This time he's up against the tackle. Now at the snap, Collins shows good explosion off the line and at the point of attack uses his inside hand to swipe away the tackles. His speed, flexion, and bend allow him to get around and under the tackle here and then flatten at the apex with good burst to run down the quarterback for another sack. Now let's take a look at some pass rush stats. In 2020, Collins collected four sacks and 14 pressures on a 23% blitz rate. His 0.8 pass rush total points per game ranked tied for third in the rookie handbook among all Will linebackers. Let's finish with a few plays highlighting Collins against the run. Oklahoma State is going to run a stretch play to the left away from Collins. Now off the ball, Collins reads the flow and uses his speed to pursue the ball carrier. Just as number 30 jumped through the inside hole that opened up, Collins is smart to continue his angle and go over the top to meet the running back clear on the other side of the field and limiting him to just a short gain on the play. Now from the UCF game, let's watch another stretch play to the left with jet motion coming back to the right. Collins shows incredible instincts and maybe a little tape study here to read the flow of the offensive line and not worry about the motion to step right through a hole and into the backfield and he's basically sitting there waiting for the running back to come to him. He's able to break down and make a good tackle here on the running back for a loss on the play. Third and final play against the run, and it's the third stretch play as well. These three plays really highlight Collins' instincts, burst, and pursuit to the ball carrier. This time the stretch is coming to the right towards Collins. He reads the flow quickly once again, bursts through the hole avoiding contact, and makes the tackle in the end zone for a huge loss and a safety. This is just another example of a smart athletic play from one of the best at the position in this year's class. Collins' instincts are clear in the run game, and when we look at the numbers, it matches up. 
Collins accounted for 54 tackles and 13 tackles for loss in 2020 with an adjusted tackle depth plus of 116, which ranked fourth among Will linebackers in the rookie handbook. Collins could use a little more aggression at the line of scrimmage, struggles to consistently shed, and needs to improve his fundamentals as a pass rusher, but his football intelligence, coverage ability, and overall athleticism makes him a can't-miss prospect at the linebacker position. His versatility to be able to grow in coverage as a pass rusher and as a run defender makes him a three-down starting level player and someone who could easily hear his name called in the first round on Thursday night. The 2021 edition of the SIS Football Rookie Handbook is out now, so make sure to go get your copy if you haven't already. You can also register for a free trial on the SIS Data Hub to see all of these stats and more for every player, and also tune in each week to the Off the Charts podcast. Thanks for watching SIS Film Breakdowns.